Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we went to the campaign for bonus mission where we- I'm not like the frontier interlopers, I'm actual villain cowards. <clears throat> Sorry, things get a little weird whenever the Legion's involved. Anyways, today it's time for us to finally end this war once and for all. It's time to siege the Vladstag, find Kaiser Vlad, put him under arrest for the crimes against the people of the frontier, Tundra, and Solar Empire, and end this conflict once and for all. Kaiser Vlad's ancestral command center is rigged with fearsome defensive fortifications. The war has extended a exacted a heavy toll on our army, but with one final push, the Alliance of Nations will put an end to this evil at the heart of Exylvania once and for all. We have the Kaiser and his cronies trapped in the Vladstag. He has nowhere else to run. Your job is to storm the barricades before the Kaiser can hatch some kind of devious escape plan. I'm deploying gunships to provide support. Let's finish this so that I can revenge myself on the Kaiser. We have to breach each of the three outer walls before we can launch our final assault on Vlad's stronghold. This is it, Commander. The big one. You need to take control of the three capture points to breach the Vladstag's outer walls. <laughs> All right, so going forward into the mission, honestly, for a final mission in the game, it's actually one of my favorites, and it's a really nice setting for it. We're working with Tundra this time. Unfortunately, Leiko decided that she just decided to sit this final fight out and not provide any Solar Empire troops. Now, one could also argue with what's going on. Uh, the Solar Empire is providing fire support from different locations, or they just overexerted themselves fighting the Iron Legion. But for now, we got Tundra, but Nova is actually a very generous with the troops that he gave us, a lot more generous than Leiko has been. Uh, we got two squads of rifle grunts instead of just a singular squad that Leiko gave us. But as you saw in the cutscene, Nova has a squadron of gunships on its way to help provide air support to us. They're going to be up against a couple of oppositions because... As you can see, there's a lot in between us and the Vladstag. There is artillery, there's acid gas vets, rocket vets, a whole bunch of grunts, a bunch of pillboxes. And sitting way back here are a duel of battle stations. And it's not actually showing up yet. I guess I don't show up until we get up to there. But there's also anti-air vehicles that'll pop up that'll be doing some damage to Nova's gunship, so we gotta work and take care of them fast. From my father's personal bodyguard to assist you, baby. In the name of Tsar Georgi's ghost, attack! Okay, let's hit this ass, I guess. Perhaps then Uber can prove his true loyalty lies with Exilvania. Alright, keep moving. The aim of the game is don't stay in one place, especially with these pillboxes and their empty vehicle cannons. And the artillery that's going to try and funnel your troops. Alright, Tundrans will provide fire support. Let's take care of these pillboxes. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to make note of. The bombers overhead. Another enemy pillbox is destroyed. I am proud of you, man. There they are. Alright, boys, go after him. All right, push forward, boys. Come on. We must keep up this fight. We make a formidable team. Yeah? Ooh. Oh, I almost I got all three of them, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to actually take them all out. That would have been nice if I just got a three for one. Oh boy. I'm here. The bombs. I'm seeing the bombs. Come on, where is that jerry can? I need it. So, from what I've noticed, it seems like Nova's gunships will prioritize attacking the pillboxes over just regular infantry. But if there's nothing left, then he'll uh, direct them to attack the, any, like, grunts or rocket vets or whatever. But the gunships are really invaluable in taking care of the pillboxes. In fact, they'll probably destroy them a lot faster than your tanks will. Alright. 
just want to pop out this. Okay, it's coming back this way. He's coming around for another pass. Is what I would have said had my missile vets not been on the ball there. Nice work, Commander. We have taken the second wall. All right. Get to move on. Never fear. I shall award medals and promotions posthumously. Alright, close the distance with that artillery. Heads up, Commander! I'm flying in reinforcements at the second gate! Oh, it's nice we're getting some reinforcements, but could you maybe wait until we got to the third gate so we could just have fresh reinforcements as soon as we got up here? Alright, boys, come on, return fire. I know the grunts and flame vents and missile vents aren't really gonna do much, but hey, it's better than nothing. Get the capture point. All right, cool. Good job, guys. So far, we haven't had many casualties during this. In, in fact, I don't think we've had any casualties. Oh, he says as he's about ready to get bombarded. The third gate is open. Nicely done, boys. Now throw everything you've got at the stronghold. All right. The uh, okay. The reinforcements are slowly making away, and it looks like uh. Novit sent another squashing of grunts. Wow, this is the most amount of grunts I think I've ever seen for a mission. This is our last chance. So they're gonna slowly make their way up here. Back, we'll just keep pushing soldiers. forward more and more. I love like the flares getting shot off of in the background, as you can see. It really does emphasize just like the intensity of this attack, and just like literally everything is on the table for it. Can't hear another bomber flying overhead. Yep, there's a bomber. Uh, thankfully, it looks like he didn't uh, get a, uh, a shot off on us yet. Uh, and we just lost our tank. Cool. Yeah, those rocket vets hurt. They hurt a lot. I'm surprised it took us this long to actually lose a tank. Oh boy. Boys, if you would do the honors. Oh. Oh, there goes a the majority of my grunts. At one bombing run, just basically just half their number. Oh god, oh no, you poor boys. Alright. Time to make a run for it. Sending in another squadron of gun troops. We must attempt to clear a path by destroying any remaining anti-air units. Alright. Gotta direct our boys over to here. Gunship. We'll drop the battalion off right there for protection because the, the battle station is... Uh, has it made its way out there? No, no it hasn't. It looks like Nova's gunships are uh, harassing the battle stations enough. There's the anti-air vehicle. We got to take care of it. And there's another one that just came out of the Vlad stag. So we're going to sneak one of our light tanks in here. We're going to take care of those so our, we don't lose any more gunships. Focus on the anti-air vehicle real quick. Uh, we're losing a lot of troops. This is really like the, I would say the hardest part of this mission where you're just gonna start losing troops no matter what The anti is gonna do a number on those gunships the gunships are basically the only re way you're gonna be able to successfully take care of any of the battle stations And you don't really have any troops to really counteract the battle station. Okay. I see what's been do doing a number to my forces that damn bomber up there All right air defenses are down Nova's gunships will be coming in any second now to help clean up the battle stations. I'm going to direct everybody to go to the capture point, and tanks, I need you to attack that pillbox. Okay, pillbox is down. I'll direct uh, my mortars and flames over to the other capture points. Uh... Oh, well, there goes a double whammy for my tanks while we just lost all but one of my armor. Alright, keep the battle stations distracted so they don't attack my forces. Nice, battle stations are down. We did, and we're done! Commander. The Blood Stag is ours! The Kaiser has officially run out of place 
chooses to hide. My aspirations for a new Exylvanian Empire have come to the most ignoble of ends. Curse upon you, Bedetti Abeti. Congratulations, Commander! The Exylvanians are defeated! I never dreamed I would live to see this day. Sometimes discretion is the better part of valor, Übel. I owe you a debt of vengeance, Commandant. That was for Tuck. And this is for my father. This tournament is over. You forget. You play against the Grandmaster. Your move, General. Let him go, Nova. You are right, Betty. But if I learned one thing from my father, it was this. He who seeks peace should be prepared for war. Yeah, new technique was gonna bite us at the end, especially with losing all my tanks and all those grunts in that bombing run. But hey, speed was 100, power was 100, thanks to the fact that we were able to take out those battle stations in time. Uh, we did leave a couple of Exylvanians alive, but they were soon taken as prisoners of war and were faced with the firing squad or whatever. Tending hit us pretty hard, but not as hard as I was thinking it was going to do. We still got the A rank, so I'm all for it. And that is Battalion Wars Revisited. Honestly... Looking back at this game, and just looking at all the stuff that was behind the scenes and cut content, it really makes me love this game and the series more. A, a big reason why I wanted to replay this was, well, it was to celebrate the fact that Reboot Camp was going to become a thing, and then it got delayed, and then delayed again, and then delayed a third time. That game, that game this series is seriously cursed, but still. I want to reinvigorate my love for the series. I do play it every, almost every year, and I n don't think I'll ever see myself ending my playthroughs of this because I just really do love this, and I'm glad a lot more people are coming around to playing this game and just getting a chance to experience it. I, part of me still wishes that this series still got an ending, but at the same time, I know that it, it's such a niche series, but from what I could tell from the developer standpoint and the developer like interview, they the devs are actually really surprised that there was still such a pretty loyal and pretty sizable fan base for this series. In fact, it was only a couple years ago that I discovered that there was actually as big a fan base as there was. And honestly, I got to give a big thanks to the fan base and the uh, Battalion Wars Discord because it, it was thanks to them that they were able to help provide me with all the information going into this with all of the cut content. All like the behind the scenes stuff, the interview. It was such a big help, and I want to thank each and every one of them for their contributions to helping with this series. I always come back and I always play this game. I always play the sequel as well. And after playing through a challenge run of this where you only play as a grunt, I gotta say, the experience is like night and day with the intensity of it. I took for granted of how much I used vehicles in past playthroughs, and to a degree this playthrough as well, but the vehicles are just really fun to use, excluding the recons. <clears throat> but at the same time, it's just like, boots on the ground compared to just riding along in a, in a big, strong vehicle is... It, it's a much more intense experience, and it really does make some of the later levels in the game, and even some of the earlier levels during the Tundra campaign, a lot more difficult and a lot more intense, and I highly recommend trying out a grunt-only run of this. With that being said, what do we have left to do for now? Well, what, where is the series led? Well, Battalion Wars has 
well, it's got the sequel for the Wii, which was where the series kind of ended. It was going to have another sequel going into what was going to be the Wii U era and use what I was expecting it to use when the Wii U era was still a thing and use the touchpad to direct the troops while you use the main screen to direct uh, the gameplay. Sadly though, it just kind of fell through and at the same time it's just like, it didn't pick up as much and Nintendo didn't want to renew the license for it, but I'm hoping that with uh, Reboot Camp ever finally seeing the light of day, the, the love for the War series actually gets brought back and shows Nintendo that there are still a lot of people who are invested in this and not just invested in the umpteenth billion Fire Emblem that's been released from them. Uh, Kuju also went to go make a, well, attempted to go make a spiritual successor to Battalion Wars, which was called Night Wars, which... If War Groove was the, it was basically the War Groove of the Battalion War series, where instead of military, it was more fantasy based. You know, knights, soldiers, dragons, whatnot. And they got a good couple of the models done for the series, but unfortunately, it looks like it never released like the alpha phase or maybe even the beta phase of its development cycle before. I guess they just decided to cut development for it. Part of me would like to see where, if there's like a, even like a playable alpha version of it, because as of recently, there's been a lot of alphas that have been released to the public, and I really would love to see or get my hands on an early build of either this or the Under Fire build. A versus build, which I doubt, I think it was only in the conceptual phase. Or an early alpha build of Night Wars, just to see how it would have looked. But that said, it's time for us to take off to greener pastures. Next time on this channel, well, you'll just have to wait and see. But don't worry, I won't leave you hanging for too long. There will be a couple of in-between micro OPs between Battalion Wars and the next series, but I will be getting to work on it rather soonish. And as for now, uh, that is basically the end of Battalion Wars. Thanks everybody for joining me for the series. I had a whole lot of fun making it. And I'll see you all next time in the next LP. Take care, everybody.